happy. We got great news. Baby has a heartbeat. Um, everything looks great. Measuring pretty right good, right? Right on track, right on track. We have a due date. Everything's just perfect. Good morning. Did you have a good nap? Uh, Is that mama? You slept good, didn't you? Because you're missing a pigtail. You're okay. missing a pigtail, mama. We are headed to see baby number two for the first time. Katie's in here. What? Doing stuff with her hair. I um, am fixing my hair because I just woke up from a nap and it looks like this. I got to look good for baby number mm -hmm. two. It's the first time I'm seeing it. I keep saying, like, I want to say her because of Haley, but I don't know, I know. what it is. So I'm gonna like, slip up. baby, it. I'm gonna slip up this whole pregnancy. I guarantee you people will be like, he's leaking the gender, but I promise. Oh. It's just because of you, sweetheart. We're so used to saying girl from you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, do you want a girl or a boy? She said, let me think about that. Girl or boy? You don't have to answer. That's her Christmas present. In action. In action. You ready? Mommy, do your hair. You ready? <laughs> Dude, what in the world? <laughs> Is it just a blow dryer? It's just on cold right now. <laughs> so we're headed to get the first ultrasound tonight, which is gonna be really exciting. It's not till 7 p.m. Um, and Katie has some special instructions. Uh, you have to empty your bladder and drink 32 ounces. 32 ounces One of water. Hour before One hour before. It. And guys, we have so much to catch you guys up on because um, this video is like a month after we found out we're pregnant. We're still in New Jersey. I do not know when we're going to be posting our pregnancy videos. Um, we're still trying to figure all that out. And in the meantime, life has been crazy because we're filming for the content currently, also trying to film for the baby content for when we do announce it. It has been wild. And then, um, Katie has been so, so sick. I'll let her talk about it. But this first trimester has been crazy. Poor That's girl cannot get up out of bed. Definitely cannot drive in a car unless absolutely necessary um, without getting too graphic, without vomiting. So <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like with Haley, I was super sick. But I don't know if I just forgot it or what. This one has been like worse, if not like... Oof, I feel like it's been way worse. Did you steal mom's hair thing? Hey, um, I still need that, Haley. She's like, oh my, Can now. you put it in mommy's hand? She's gonna try and eat it. Can you give it to mama? <laughs> Haley. Dad. Hey, can you give it to mama? Mama needs it. Can you give it to me? Oh, thank you so much. So sweet. Thank you so much. Good job. So not all my family even knows that Katie is pregnant yet, so it's been very interesting trying to hide it because Katie will be not feeling well and not show up to certain things, and I'll try to cover it up, but I think people are catching on. Even some of her Instagram followers oh, and YouTube know. people okay. are like... Right where have you been? Hope you're doing okay. Or like Katie's napping all of the time in every YouTube video. Katie's always asleep. Why is she sleeping so much? She's growing this organs, baby. Growing brains, growing <laughs> kidneys, growing fingers and toes. After we get a good report, hopefully, then we'll be able to tell more family. I just want to make sure there's a heartbeat and everything's good with the baby. Are those your magnets? Ma. Ma. Can I play with your magnets? <gasps> you want to put it on for me? You did it. Good job. It is like 65 degrees and sunny. Basically the perfect day. Katie's basically ready to go. And then we're headed to the park. Haley has been loving the swings and the slide. And it's been like one of the first really nice days of the year for us. So we're going to get out. We're going to take advantage of it. And then we're going to end up meeting up with my parents. They're going to watch Haley during the appointment. And then we're all going to go to dinner afterwards. So it's going to be a fun day. Hopefully great news today. I am very happy. <laughs> Guys, I'm scared to even bring up food options half the time because if I mention one that she doesn't like, she immediately goes Immediate like... gag. Mm, mm. So, Katie, whatever you want to eat tonight. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> I'm feeling cheesesteaks right now, but who knows what it could be in an hour.
Next stop is Gigi and Pop's house. We had fun at the park. I think Haley's ready for a nap. Um, but then hopefully Katie and I will get an ultrasound photo. You want to see a picture of your baby sibling? For her, we did like baby C. Baby number two. I don't know. We need a name to like call it because we don't know if it's a girl or boy yet. Or we need to find out really soon. If we're going to even find out, that's a whole other conversation. Katie's got to drink all this water while driving. Ugh, so wish me luck. Prayers for Katie. And then, uh, yeah, we'll give you an update as soon as we leave. Just one day at a time. <laughs> hey, hey, you going to hang with Gigi? You going to be a good girl? Okay, <laughs> we'll see you soon. Hi, can I please get a butter croissant and a grande peach green tea lemonade with two pumps of sweetener? We were a little bit short on the 40, 42 ounces or 32? 32. 32. 32 ounces of fluid she has to drink. So we've made a stop. Um, sounds like a risky order to me. I don't know, that cane sugar, taking a real risk. <laughs> I just have to get something else. The water is, oh. <laughs> oh, if I cannot. This is like your um, glucose test but a little easier yeah way easier than a glucose test so much easier but i just want to make it to the appointment without puking so the ultrasound will be good there's our hospital babe every time i pass by i still have all the memories about that we just got to our appointment i think i've probably done 32 ounces now i did this and a little bit of this. It's probably enough, right? I think right? they're good. It's probably enough. I'm always so like psyched out about these because I'm like, I'm gonna get in there and they're gonna be like, you didn't drink enough. So then I think I like over drink to make sure I'm good. We got great news. Baby has a heartbeat. Um, everything looks great. Measuring pretty right good, on right? Track, right on track. We have a due date. Everything's just perfect. They said there's definitely one though because they were kind of suspicious with how sick Katie was when we told them. And they were like, uh, Well, I think it was more like how early I found out they were like, where your level They said like sometimes crazy. that's a sign that people have twins. And then after they said there was one, the doctor was like, I thought maybe you were gonna have twins, but it's just one. <laughs> I think this one is about all I can handle. I'm so excited. That it's so small. We're so early. Um, I think she said it's, it's like the size of between your fingernail Half and an a inch. gummy bear. Half an inch. Half an inch. So I crazy. Really Where are the pictures? Are they give us pictures. Yes, look, guys. Haley's gonna be so. <laughs> I'm gonna be so excited to show her whether she knows or not. <laughs> There's a the little heartbeat. Insane. That in nine months. You have a little baby. That is mind blowing. Not nine months, in seven months. That's seven? Crazy. I don't even know when the due date is. October. Hey. She's like, what is that? <laughs> give the baby a kiss. Can you give the baby a kiss? Oh, oh my word. You want to go show Gigi? Go show Gigi your baby. You have? Let me see. Show <gasps> Gigi your baby. Baby. Look how small it is. Isn't that crazy? Look, Haley. You're going to be That's a big baby. sister. I'm so happy for you. Oh, boy. I'm so happy <laughs> for you. You're going to be a you big sister. You want it sister. back? Say give back, Gigi. I'll put that on the fridge for you to see. Baby. Can you give it another kiss? Give it another kiss. Or him. Mm, I love it. Oh. Love the baby. Mm. Ah. 
Are you having fun at Gigi? Show me all your toys. Okay, we made it home. Haley's getting her bottle for the night. She's about to lay down for bed. We just finished our book time, which ends up being like a 30 minute ordeal because she wants to read 10. And it could be the same book over and over again, but she has to read like so many. And anytime we try to like stop, she'll cry for it. So we read a lot of books in a day. We love doing it for her, but we're gonna put her down to bed. Today was a really good day. Super thankful for the good report at the doctor. Uh, both of us are relieved. Probably sleep a little better tonight. So thankful for a healthy baby. Yeah, it's it's really exciting. We're excited to do the whole process again and go through the pregnancy. Still early on. The emotions, everything. It's just oh my goodness. Those emotions. So worth every bit of it yeah. for a sweet little baby. The ladies definitely get more of the emotion. <laughs> Travis just knows this because I've been crying about everything and super emotional, especially about Haley. Um, so it's just guys, part I of feel pregnancy. like I'm gonna do so much better this second pregnancy. Not that I didn't do good the first time. I'm just you saying, did great. Like, you are like extra. No, thoughtful. I just feel like I know how it is the second time around. Like the first time, yes, I wanted to take care of you and do everything perfectly. But like when you would start break down crying over pizza, I was like, wait, what is <laughs> happening right now? Like, is this normal? <laughs> but now I know, guys. I'm a pro. I'm a veteran. And he has so, been um, literally spoiling me. Every morning, he brings me breakfast. He makes it, brings it in bed. He's been like waking up with Haley and keeping her for an extra hour or two in the morning so I can sleep in and get more rest. I believe this is the last throwback video you guys will see. Everything from here on out should be current and up to date. So that is awesome. Um, the only other thing we really have to do is find a new doctor when we get to Tennessee. Um, thankfully, they did schedule an appointment in New Jersey for like right before we leave. So we won't be pressured for time when we get to Tennessee. And plus, Katie has family who's seen probably yeah, every doctor I have a in lot Tennessee. of sisters there, so I'm sure they'll have a good recommendation and we can find someone yes. that's that is, great. That is definitely one of the other sad parts about moving, though. As small as it may seem. I love my doctors so Katie much here. Katie loves her doctors. All of the nurses that helped us and all that stuff, uh, the hospital. I just had the best experience like, with Haley. Yeah. The pregnancy, the birth, everything. They were so amazing. I love my doctors. That's gonna wrap up today's video. I believe it's probably gonna be a little bit of a shorter one, uh, but again, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. That brings you up to date, and we'll be sure to keep you updated with whatever's next happening in life. I don't even know what's happening because we're recording this like weeks in advance before you're even gonna know. So, we'll probably be in Tennessee doing something. I don't even know. <laughs> You'll know when we post it. You'll know. <laughs> guys, it's getting late. It's starting to show. Mm. We're getting to that stage where everyone needs to go to bed. <laughs> Haley looks like Albert Einstein <laughs> over here with her book. Her pigtail. <laughs> She's reading her books. Anyway. We're going to put her to bed. I'm going to get in bed. I'm going to clean up the house a little bit. It's going to be great. We'll see you. Bed. We'll see you not next week, but we'll see you. We will see you when we announce and then post this video one week after. So There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace out. Mm -hmm.